So this is my hack together magnetic stir um, for PCB etching. Uh, it has an old blender motor in it and a uh, like a wall uh, dimmer switch that kind of controls the speed. Um, it works okay, uh, but it's taking up a lot of valuable uh, aluminum. So basically, what, what, how this thing works is you would plug it in, and then uh, there's a magnetic stir that goes in a bucket full of uh, PCB etching. Put the bucket on top, turn it on a little bit, um, and then you have to stick your hand in here to kind of get the get the rotor to move um, because the magnet inside. Getting this thing started is kind of difficult, uh, but once it's going, it's fine. Um, so basically, what I want to do is remove all of the aluminum requirements and just have a pure wooden frame um, and something that I can like index the bucket so it's exactly in the center, um, just you know for easy use kind of stuff. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. So I've set up some old MDF from the original uh, CNC machine. Uh, I'm running out of pieces. <laughs> uh, it's got a piece of cardboard underneath. I mean, this stuff doesn't have to be dimensionally accurate. It just has to, you know, kind of have a basic form. Um, I'm using a slightly chipped quarter-inch um, roughing bit. And basically, I'm going to cut out a circle. Thank <laughs> you. 
cut this thing down to size. Um, the bucket uh, fits in there really good. Really good. Um, and I cut a bottom plate for it as well. So now I just need to build um, some risers and reconfigure this part uh, to fit in here. Okay, so now the idea is to mount these guys in here. Something like that. And this comes over. And gets as close as possible to the the bottom of the bucket. Let's see. I kind of want it to be centered. <laughs> that would be nice. Perfect though, I mean, come on. It's just a stir. Actually, since this is three quarter, I probably could make it out of this and the whole rig. Yeah, 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 that sounds good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is instead of using 2x4s, I'm going to punch a hole in the center of this that allows this to turn freely. And then I'll mount this on there. I'll mount it on um, the MDF. That way it's easier to center and screw as opposed to um, Trying to flip it over and center it, like this, this is going to be a much easier approach. Just drilling a hole in the center and
so to spare you the details of, oh I cut some wood um, I cut some wood <laughs> and it's four and a half inches tall so now this should go in and it should turn freely and it does so the next step is to just kind of screw this all down make it a little more rigid and then uh, mount it to switch and deal with this fuse issue. Okay. Okay, so I made it um, into a box. It's rigid. Um, not worried about it tipping or unless you like actively try. Um, so now the fuse issue. Okay, so apparently the fuse issue is a non-issue. Um, so I haven't hooked this up yet, but a little demo. Um, it's a blender motor, so it, it wants to go fast. So if we turn it down... Essentially it. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna mount uh, this guy up and call it a day. And here it is, all done. So we got the switch mounted up, which has on and off uh, with tack. Um, we've got the thing freely spinning, hole on the bottom side so that it can spin. nice and solid so I don't have to worry about it you know doing something bad that's it done